Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! A pleasant day my viewers and subscribers. I'm going to give you a simple solution to a huge problem about the main spindle bearing of a lathe machine. Some main spindle bearings just like this, cone and cup bearing with a stopper, are not available in the market, especially here in the Philippines. I'm sure some of you who have lathe machines with the same problem might just use them while the condition of the main bearing of the machine gets worse until it ends up as junk. Actually, there are two solutions to this kind of problem. One is to import from other countries like China, which is quite expensive and it takes several days before you can receive it. My simple solution is to buy a cup and cone bearing without a stopper. which is commonly available in the market and also to buy a ring clip that will serve as a stopper. But how are we going to put it on and fix the ring clip into the cap of the bearing? This is what I'm going to perform today. The bearing is hardened but it is still machinable. I will use a carbide tool bit and grind to reshape it with a square nose to create a square groove on the periphery of the cone of the bearing and that is where the ring clip that serves as a stopper will be put and fixed on. This is a universal chap with three unhardened jaws thus it is called soft jaw chuck. Take note as well that when mounting the cap of the bearing in the soft jaw chuck, a moderate force should be applied in tightening the chuck to avoid the workpiece getting oval. Very good. This is now the ring clip which serves as the stopper of the bearing. The ring clip which serves as a stopper of the bearing is already fixed in the machined square groove. Now let's have Q&A portion. Prof. Johnny, what if the cone and the rollers of the bearing are still good but the outer raceway of their cup already have small indentations or depressions. Bearings are expensive machine elements. To save money, you can buy just the cup of the bearing and put a stopper just like what I did. Or don't throw away the defective cup of the bearing. Instead, regrind it to make it as good as new. But how do you do this? Please watch my next tutorial video on how to salvage the defective cap of the cone and cap bearing. See you again. Thank you very much.